the dark side of the INFJ. INFJs, known as the advocates, are deeply empathetic, idealistic, and driven by a desire to help others. But like all personality types, they have their own set of challenges and darker aspects. In this video, we'll uncover the dark side of the INFJs. INFJs are one of the rarest MBTI personality types. They are often seen as enigmatic and complex. They are intuitive, feeling, and judging individuals who possess a deep understanding of others and a strong sense of morality. However, their unique traits can also lead to significant internal and external conflicts. Let's explore the dark side of INFJs you may not have been aware of. Number one, tendency to bottle up emotions. INFJs are skilled at understanding and managing others' emotions, but often neglect their own. They tend to keep their feelings bottled up, leading to emotional overload. An INFJ is always the empathetic ear for their friends, but rarely opens up about her own struggles. This habit of internalizing emotions can result in sudden emotional outbursts or periods of intense sadness. Number two, overwhelming sense of responsibility. INFJs feel a deep responsibility to care for others and fix problems, which can lead to taking on too much. They often put others' needs before their own, resulting in emotional and physical exhaustion. INFJ male and INFJ female are often the go-to person for friends and family in crisis. While their support is invaluable, they rarely take time for themselves, leading to stress and fatigue. This overburdening sense of responsibility can make it hard for INFJs to say no, even when they're stretched thin. Number three, emotional sensitivity and vulnerability. INFJs are highly sensitive to criticism and conflict. They take things to heart and can be deeply hurt by negative feedback or harsh words. Most INFJ men and INFJ women struggle with receiving constructive criticism at work. Even well-meaning advice can feel like a personal attack, causing them to withdraw and overthink the situation. This heightened sensitivity can make it challenging for INFJs to navigate tough conversations or confrontations. Number four, difficulty setting boundaries. INFJs often struggle with setting and maintaining healthy boundaries. Their natural inclination to help and support others can lead to overcommitment and a lack of personal space. It is very easy to find an INFJ being overwhelmed by the demands of friends and colleagues. He struggles to assert his own needs and ends up feeling taken advantage of. This inability to set boundaries can lead to resentment and burnout. Number five, perfectionism and unrealistic expectations. INFJs have a relentless drive for perfection, not just for themselves, but also for the world around them. They set incredibly high standards and can be overly critical when things don't meet their expectations. Individuals with the INFJ personality may often find themselves reworking projects multiple times, striving for an unattainable level of perfection. This constant need for perfection can lead to burnout and a sense of perpetual dissatisfaction, affecting both her professional and personal life. Number six, idealism leading to disillusionment. INFJs hold strong ideals about how the world should be. When reality doesn't align with their vision, they can become deeply disillusioned and discouraged. An INFJ may decide to pour their heart into a community project aimed at making significant social change. When the project faced bureaucratic hurdles and failed to meet its goals, an INFJ is likely going to feel a profound sense of disillusion and even question their effort and purpose. Number seven, social overwhelm and need for solitude. Despite their caring nature, INFJs can become easily overwhelmed by social interactions and need significant alone time to recharge. INFJ often feel drained after social events, like spending time with friends and family. They may need to retreat and spend time alone to recover their energy. This need for solitude can sometimes be misunderstood by others as aloofness or indifference. Number eight, overthinking and analysis paralysis. INFJs have a tendency to overanalyze situations, which can lead to indecision and anxiety. An INFJ can spend hours weighing the pros and cons of every decision, from choosing a career path to deciding what to have for dinner. This constant overthinking can be paralyzing and prevent him from taking action. Number nine, difficulty letting go of the past. INFJs often hold on to past experiences and relationships, finding it hard to move on and let go. INFJs frequently revisits old memories and relationships, struggling to move forward. This tendency to dwell on the past can hinder her ability to embrace new opportunities and experiences. Number 10, fear of rejection and abandonment. INFJs have a deep-seated fear of rejection and abandonment, which can make them cautious and hesitant in forming new relationships. Most INFJs find it difficult to open up to new people. The fear of being rejected or abandoned often holds them back from forming close relationships, leading to feelings of isolation. Number 11, struggle with self-care. 
INFJs prioritize the well-being of others over their own, often neglecting their own self-care needs. INFJs often spend so much time caring for their family and friends that they often forget to take care of themselves. This neglect can lead to physical and mental health issues over time. Number 12, tendency to withdraw under stress. When faced with stress or conflict, INFJs tend to withdraw and isolate themselves instead of seeking support. Some individuals with the INFJ personality type find it difficult to cope with stress. Instead of reaching out for help, an INFJ will retreat into themselves, which only exacerbates their feelings of anxiety and loneliness. While the dark side of the INFJ can be challenging, it's important to remember that these traits also contribute to their unique strengths and abilities. By acknowledging and addressing these challenges, INFJs can lead balanced and fulfilling lives. If you're an INFJ or you know someone who is, understanding these aspects can foster empathy and growth. Embrace your strengths, work on your weaknesses, and continue making a positive impact on the world. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content on personality types and personal growth. See you in the next one. Take care.